about the difference between cooperating with the police and ceding to police power. If we are here because we are claiming our power, that is the power that the police theoretically can take from us. If our conversation is always about, but they're going to hurt us, then what we're saying is they have the power, we're here at their behest, and we're doing what they're letting us doing in a way that pretends to be making a statement. Are we really making a statement? Or are we trying to just get away with the police are going to let us do? out there. So what I'm hearing so far from a lot of folks that are getting up here is that we want to keep the streets and we want to keep the park. And I'm hearing other folks expressing uh, concern about an either or option that may be negotiation and keeping, I'm hearing concepts of negotiation and opening doors and communication. So just keep that in mind as these folks are speaking. And I would also ask that if you don't have anything new to offer to this conversation, then maybe you refrain a little bit for some of you might have something to change the conversation dialogue a little bit, okay? Uh, one last thing from the police liaison. She forgot to mention that the uh, uh, police captain, Sarah, what's your last name? Western? Um, Westburn? Said that given uh, leaving the street, she thought that it would increase our visibility. That's how it was phrased. That's all. I would like to see a straw poll. Okay, so let's see a straw poll based on the original proposal, which was to keep this street. A straw poll. because I've heard this from several voices. I've heard questions being around what are our options. Just one, one second, because I'm trying, I'm doing, bear with me, this is my process of processing what you all are saying, okay? So I'm hearing people um, have concerns about other options, and I re also recall, I don't know if it was a friendly amendment or additional proposal about keeping the streets and negotiating at the same time. I do recall hearing that. So I want to understand, are those two different proposals then? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it sounds like what she's stating is that the original proposal, which is what this gentleman was addressing, was that we keep the streets. And as we're keeping the streets, we keep the lines of communication open and are in constant negotiation with the police. Straw poll in support of that. Okay, so, so, I think at this time I'm gonna, can you give me just a minute? Give me one second. coming into consensus about the original proposal, so I'm going to do it one more time so we can be clear, and then we can get to friendly amendments, okay? So, as the proposal stands, keeping the streets and keeping negotiations open with police, show of hands, in support. Okay, I'm sensing practical consensus. Okay, so with that, to keep the process moving because of the time, let's start a new line of friendly amendments to what we've heard if there are any. Are there friendly amendments? If so, please come up now. Mic check. I thought, I thought that we agreed to take 
Two take. 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 Two so, can we uh, see who's against keeping the streets and whatever? Okay. I, I didn't want to speak on this, I'm just trying to address this. It's a critical point. So, to be clear, we had a straw poll. We had a show of hands for who's in favor. We have a show of hands of who's uh, against. against staying in the streets and negotiating. Let's, let's just, who's against staying in the streets, period. Okay, so it was pretty clear, I think, with the straw poll that we were in favor of staying in the streets and negotiating with the police, so we're going to continue with the friendly amendments to that proposal. We don't negotiate with so, as a uh, friendly amendment to that proposal, I would like to amend that all negotiations with the police uh, or the mayor's office, the Parks Bureau, whatever institution or uh, person of power that we negotiate with take place at the General Assembly. Um, I say so because we are creating a hierarchy within our group uh, and we did not elect people to negotiate. We did not elect people to control our flow of information. Um, this, um, Gina has been talking with the mayor without our approval, and I think uh, part of our movement is saying that we're all equal. And these people have been doing an excellent job, but that tactic is pitting us against them, and that's wrong and divisive for our movement. So everyone that comes out here is from a position of power and has some information for us that we need to hurry up and do or react to, they need to come to our GAs, I believe. I think that's the opinion of against that, that friendly amendment? Anyone? All right, I'll take that as a, or a direct response. I would like to remind the amender that if you invite the mayor and the Parks and Recreation Board and the police um, to our gym general assemblies to present their proposals, you also invite them to come and vote for us. Um, because it is an open assembly, anyone who comes is allowed to vote. That includes the police, that includes the mayor, that includes the Park and Recreation Board. Because it is an open assembly, and we will not stop them. So before you invite them, maybe you should consider that. So, just for the process, that was a direct response to the friendly amendment. So let me, after that direct response, get a temperature on that friendly amendment, or this point of your creation. Go ahead. Mic check. That we just approved the proposal. So these friendly amendments are actually other proposals. And so we should go through the proposal process. Point of process. Um, as a point of process, we never offered an opportunity for friendly amendments to the proposal before we um, consent to the proposal. Is that a requirement or not? I don't understand. That was a that was a straw poll, and uh, for the original proposal, uh, so that the previous point of process was addressed.